I am gonna tell you what, America. This is old Johnny Knuckles, and if you've seen my last video about my grandson getting his hair cut, we specifically did that video because we wanted to cut all the hair off or was going to donate it to uh, Locks of Love or one of those organizations for people with cancer. Now, we did find out Locks of Love uh, sells 80% of their stuff, so 20% goes to, or they, they don't do 20, 80%. 20% goes to kids, and most of that is with alopecia, which we don't discriminate. If you ain't got hair as a kid, you ain't got hair as a kid. But, uh, so we found a little bit better place to do it for, we wanted to gear towards cancer patients. I've actually got my, my mom and stepdad both have cancer. Um, I lost my father-in-law two years ago with cancer, so uh, cancer's a son of a bitch. But anyway, so we was on that locks of love, and y'all tell me something. Now, if you was an alien and you was a lizard person and you was trying to blend in like a human, what better a cover would it be than to uh, get fake hair? You could make wigs and all of that. But you tell me, I watched this video, and this is on their website. You can go look at it. I think a lady's a lizard lady. I'm going to play this for you. Check this out. It freaks me out. We're not donating the hair there. that affords them the chance to be kids again. We do this by providing the children with a custom-fitted cranial prosthesis made of human hair that has been donated. For now, hold on. Did y'all just see that? Hey, let me rewind it. Check this stuff out. I ain't making this up. This is crazy. Lots of Love was developed to help children who are living with medical hair loss live day to day with the same sense of self-confidence that other children have. Children don't want to stand out. They want to blend in with their peer groups. It's difficult enough if you have the wrong backpack or jeans. Can you imagine going to school with no hair? We provide a sense of normalcy to their daily lives that affords them the chance to be kids again. We do this by providing the children with a custom-fitted cranial prosthesis made of human hair that has been donated for this purpose. Hey, I'm going to tell you right now, even if I wasn't a lizard person and that was my company, I would put up a new video because that freaks me out. And there's another picture in there that ends up looking like Beavis and Butthead where you can go in and check one of the pixels and her face is in a different uh, deal. Uh, I don't have that on my phone, but it's, it's just freaky. Y'all be safe.